Do you know that the first sector of your hard drive is the master boot record? Within the master boot record, you can find the partitions table of your hard drive. In today's video, I'm going through the first sector or sector zero, and I'm going to explain how you can read the partition table information within the master boot record. Also, I'm going to find what the file system type, what's the size of this partition, what the size of the first partition, and so on. Let's start. To start, first thing you need an image of a hard drive, or you can use your own hard drive. For me, I download an image from data leak case. I will keep the link in the description. I used this image before in other videos. You can go to my channel and watch the other videos in, in case I think. The image I download is for the personal computer and it's raw image. You need to download the three files 001, 002 and 003 and they are around 5 gigabyte and then make sure to decompress them and load them to any Hexaviewer tool that you like for me I'm using the HXD tool for today video as I said the master boot record is the first sector or we call it sector 0 and start from the offset 0000000, 000, 000, 000. the master boot record contain the bootstrap code area which from 00 till around 445 before I do anything I should easier for me to change the offsets from hexa values to decimal to do this one to change the view of offset go to view offset base and change them to decimal now it's easy to read for us as i said the bootstrap code area is from 0 to 446 what you can see here the length is 446 the whole of this area called bootstrap code area the area of partition table it starts from here till here okay it's the length of it it's 64 bytes in length this is the partition table this is when when you turn on your computer your computer will go to the first sector this is the first sector to master boot record and will load and then it will find the partition table within the partition table it will find which partition is active which is clearly here this the first partition is active because it is 80 i will explain it but however how we can confirm we are inside the master boot record because we can see here the signature 55aa this is the boot record signature once you see 55aa and it's you are in the first sector that means this indicate to you this is the end of the master boot record now let's go back to the partition table as we said these are the partition table we know that the master boot record will have only maximum four primary partition and each partition will have 16 byte in length that mean 64 divided by 16 that mean four partitions and here is the first partition information second partition information third partition information and fourth partition information and from here straight away we can know that there is two partitions in in this hard drive there is two partition this is the first partition this is the first 16 byte then the second 16 bytes now let's explain the first partition okay let's find if this partition is active or not let's find the size of this partition uh, the file system type of this partition and the starting sector of this partition first thing the 80 and this will indicate of the active partition within your hard drive that guide the bootloader to the required partition to boot that mean uh, the bootloader uh, will will load the operating system from the first partition that mean we expect you have let's say if you have windows operating system this is where the active operating system is in this the first partition the others uh, what we can see the second partition is not active okay because it start by zero zero we done from the first byte for the second third and fourth bytes the 20 21 zero, zero, we don't read them like that okay because it's little indian that means you should read it from right to left zero, zero, 21 and 20 this is how you should write as a little indian okay as a little indian this will indicate for us the starting cylinder header and sector okay cylinder header and sector within the hard disk however it's not that uh, important for me like now uh, i am interesting more than this byte the 07 byte the length of it just one byte and this will show us the partition type the partition type the file system type where 07 that means this partition 
is formatted as NTFS. However, if it's 05 or 04 or 01, that means this is FAT file system. Each file system will have its own unique byte. Also, the next three bytes, this will indicate the ending of uh, cylinder header sector. I'm not interesting on this as well, okay? Now, what I'm interesting on is the starting sector of the partition, of the first partition. And this, what I'm highlighting light, right now, is from offset 454 to five to four five seven these four offset remember it's little indian okay little indian when you convert it make sure uh, you convert it right but however with this tool it will convert it straight away little indian make sure it's little indian here and it will indicate the starting sector is 2048 this is the starting sector okay the starting sector but what is the starting offset for the starting sector? You go to calculator, make sure you open the calculator. As we said, it's the sector 2048, then multiplied by the sector size. Sector size is 512. If you hit enter, you will get this number. Okay, this is where the file system is stored exactly. Let, let's try and go to this location. To go to this location, click on search, go to, and type your offset location, 1048576, and hit OK. Hopefully it will work. Yeah, here is it. It went to the sector 2048, 2048. It's exactly the same what we managed to find from master boot record. And also it confirmed to us the master boot record, it say the file system of this partition is in TFS. And here is it. We went to sector 2048, which is located here in this offset. And it indicates this is NTFS file system. I explain another video, how you understand the, uh, the NTFS file system, uh, how the files are, and all of these things, okay? And all of these things. Let's go back to sector zero, okay? Let's go back to sector zero. Uh, I, will, I will make it easy for me. Go to uh, just type zero here and I will go straight away to sector zero. Remember, this is our partition, and we know that the partition location is this one, 2048. And what I'm interested in right now is to know the partition size of this partition, okay, of this partition. It's the last four bytes, okay, the last four uh, bytes of the partition, okay, of the partition area. And this is zero, zero, Two zero zero three zero zero. If you convert them from Little Indian to to decimal, it will come to us as two uh, two zero four eight zero zero sector in sector. Okay, in sector, um, and we know the sector size is five hundred and twelve. Then if we multiply the number of sector, which is two uh, two zero four eight zero zero times five hundred twelve. This is the size of this partition in bytes, okay? In bytes. If you divide it with 1024, you get the size of this partition in kilobyte. If you divide it by 1024, you will get the size of the partition in megabyte. That means this partition, the first partition, is 100 megabyte. Your task right now is to find out the second partition, okay? To find out the second partition information. And what I'm looking for, I'm looking for the partition size, the file system type, and the starting sector, and the starting sector of that partition. And then write the answer in the comment. And based on your answer, I will say to you, your answer is correct or wrong. Again, if you need, a copy of the image you can download from that website. I will keep the link in the description and I will make sure I will create another videos about FAT file system and NTFS file system in the near future. Thank you very much and see you next time.